one does not simply fire an arrow. If there's one thing you can say that you can get under any archer's skin, it would be the phrase to fire an arrow or fire a bow. Now, as much as archery tends to be fragmented and divided along traditional and modern lines, I think we can all agree as archers that this is the one thing which we'll react to. And this might range from a small involuntary twitch to a sudden desire to correct that person and educate them on archery. And some people go to the extent of making YouTube videos about it. So just to quickly put it out there, you don't fire an arrow or you don't fire a bow. The correct term is to shoot or to loose. You never fire a bow or an arrow. The word or command to fire comes from the gunpowder era. Now the early muskets were matchlocks and they weren't shot by pulling a trigger and having a firing pin slammed to a cartridge and bang shot goes off. The way a musket was shot was that you had to load a bit of gunpowder into the pan, then load the musket ball and the rest of the gunpowder down the muzzle, and then you would pull the trigger and apply a source of ignition into the pan. Now, for the later muskets, they would use uh, percussion caps or um, before that, flints, which would spark and therefore ignite the powder. But before that, they use match. Uh, the match was a piece of cord which would slowly burn and that would be attached to the piece and when you pull the trigger that would apply the burning end onto the gunpowder in the musket and therefore ignite the powder and fire the weapon. And that's where the word fire comes from. It's to give fire or to apply fire. You didn't give fire to the, the enemy you give fire to your own piece. So the act of pulling the trigger to put that burning match into the pan is the process of giving fire. Ironically, that phrase, to give fire, would also become redundant with the use of flintlocks and percussion caps because you technically didn't have a fire to give. So yeah, it's still retained by uh, firearm shooters because that's how the phrase originated. When you pull the trigger, you fire the weapon. Now with a bow, there is no process in which you apply a burning match or a fire to your bow. That would not be a good idea. Instead, what we know from English archery, and ironically I've got a Chinese bow here, um, the commands that we know would have been to knock, mark, and draw. So knock is to put the arrow onto the string, mark is to identify your mark or to identify your target, and draw is the act of pulling the bow back. Um, the last command would have been loose, so you loose an arrow, but that command wasn't necessarily given. And that's because the word draw implies that it has to be loosed. Unlike a firearm where you can have it ready and present it without shooting it, means you can wait for the order to shoot. And that's often used for a tactical effect of a mass volley. With a bow, you actually can't hold the bow at full draw. Now I can for maybe a minute before you're tired, but imagine a hundred pound war bow. You are pretty much going to draw, maybe look at the target and release within a time frame of a few seconds. You didn't need to wait for someone to tell you to let go. So likely in the English ranks on the battlefields of Cressy or Agincourt, you would have heard the words, knock, mark, and draw, repeated endlessly for uh, much of the battle. Whereas you would never hear the word fire coming from the mouth of an archery captain. And before you ask, no, you don't fire a fire arrow. Um, I guess you could technically say that you were giving fire if that involves the gift of fire as attached to the end of an arrow to someone's house. 
Now with that all said, does it really matter if someone says to fire an arrow? The answer is no. I mean, these days we all understand the word fire to be synonymous with shooting. And uh, even historians will use the word fire when talking about archery in a historical context. So these days we know what it means. Is it really that big a deal? No. I mean, like you might want to correct someone and point out as a bit of trivia but it's not something you'd really get upset over. Uh, I mean, look, I personally don't use the word to fire an arrow in my videos because I've you know, become ingrained with the correct terminology of the last few years. Um, some presenters will use the word fire um, interchangeably with any form of shooting. And I've seen some people like commentators really jump on them in the comment section saying that, oh, you can't fire an arrow. And look, you don't look like an expert by pointing out this very commonly known bit of trivia. It's technically wrong, but this is really a matter of semantics here. And language evolves, language changes. The word fire today means something different to what it meant 500 years ago. So any form of shooting is firing something. If you can fire a weapon and you can fire a worker, then I wouldn't look past firing a bow, honestly. Anyway, that was a fairly mild archery annoyance. I guess the point is that it's not something that's worth being annoyed over. It's one of those things which is nice to know, but if someone says it wrong, then don't get fired up.